Hey everybody, welcome to Fortunate Creations. I'm Kim and this is a channel where we talk about everything to do with crafting. So from amigurumi to weaving and anything in between, if you like crafting and being creative, stick around. I think you're going to like it here. As you can see, I'm surrounded by yarn. And for those of you that get surrounded by yarn, you realize you have half used skeins, you have whatever that is, you have yarn barf, you have all sorts of yarn around you at all times. Well, I have recently purchased a yarn winder. I want to share it with you and show you how great it works. Just so you have an idea of whether you need one or want one or not, I highly recommend it just because just this morning I did all of these cakes and I turned 10 small balls of yarn into three cakes and it's easier storage it works great so stick around right now and i'm going to switch over to tutorial view and uh i'll show you how it works let's go so the winder that i got is actually a very inexpensive one that i i ordered off of timu it works great i just wanted to see if i liked it before i went ahead and spent any significant amount of money on it. This is an extremely low cost one, but I'll tell you what, it works amazing. I highly recommend looking into it, even if it's not this exact one, one similar. So how does it work? Well, it works like a dream is how it works. So you take yarn that looks like this. This is a mess. Okay. I want to take this half used beat up skein of yarn and I want to turn it into a nice cake. You're not going to believe how simple this is. So you clip this thing to your desk. Okay. It latches right on, feed it through the guide and start winding. And yes, it is exactly that easy. See yarn barf. All right. You can go ahead beforehand and pull some out so you don't get into this trouble, but it's just a good example of how you can take trouble yarn and make it into a nice ball. And check this out. I'm going to leave this in real time so you can see how quickly this works its way into a nice ball of, or a nice cake of yarn. I'll tell you what, I don't know how I lived without this thing. And, uh, I might actually upgrade to a taller one so I can make bigger cakes, but here we go. This is it. This is just feeding from the center of that skein I just showed you. Like I said, I'm going to keep it on real time because it does not take that long at all. You tighten the screw here to make sure the tension line stays up. Make sure this is tight enough to hold it onto your surface. And this is how it works like a dream. Ready? We're at the end. Here we go. And we're done. That was approximately, oh, I don't know, a couple minutes, if that. So super simple because now you've got a center pull. So I just hold that with my finger and I slide the whole cake off. Voila, look at that. From that awful mess I had in the beginning to there, super easy, super, just super. I know I use the word super a lot, but let's pick another one. You want to do another one? Well, we use this one. This one was just kind of sitting there, taking up space, making a mess. So again, center feed. I'm just chucking that over there. I'll feed this through. Make sure there's no debris from the last one. Slide it in. Come on, behave. There we go. So sometimes I will take it, I'll go once and then actually twice. Makes it easier to find the tail at the end. And that's it. Here we go. You do have to deal with the knots and stuff that pop up from your messy skein, but that's why we're doing it in the first place, right? So we can take a messy skein and make it into a nice cake. And I'll tell you what, 
Here we go. It winds it so beautifully, nice pattern. As long as you hold that tension arm up the way it's supposed to be, it rolls perfectly. And it does all the work for you. Look, we'll go slow motion. You can see a beautiful pattern. I love it. And we're more than halfway done with the skein already. You can see how much I have left right here. Just keep on winding. And here we go. The end of the skein already done. I just kind of hold the very end of it and just keep going to make sure again put your finger on the center pull and just slide your hand under the cake and pull it out. It really does not get any easier than this and then all I do is I take one of these little barrettes and I clip the end. Now, if you have a cake where you have the information about the yarn, I just take the information about the yarn and I wrap it around so that you know where the center pull is and you have all the information. And I put there that it's times three because there's three little balls made up this one cake. And this actually organizes your whole stash and everything, makes it look much easier makes it look much neater and uh, there you go so if you're on the fence about buying one of these get off the fence and get one so there we go it is as simple as what i just showed you seriously you can take a mess of yarn and turn it into a beautiful cake in less than a couple minutes so if you're on the fence like i said hop off the fence and grab one of these you can get them anywhere they're at michael's they're at Joann's, they're at Hobby Lobby, they're on Amazon, they're on Timu, wherever you want to get one, I just highly recommend you get one. So there you go. From me to you, some good advice. Remember, thank you so much for stopping by. Hit the like button, subscribe, join my channel. I'd love to have you as a member and uh, always be happy, be kind, and be creative. I'll see you next time.